Hi guys, and welcome to my surprising first ever speed build I've ever done on this channel. I have had my channel for two years. It's been a dedicated Sims 3 channel, and somehow I have not done any builds and or speed builds on this channel in that span of two years. Can you tell where my loyalty in Sims 3 lies? Because it certainly is not on the on the building side of things. I am not that great of a builder. Uh, I'm not much of a builder at all, actually. I do better with interior design, but like cast. I feel like is where Cass is where I shine I think I think my cast makeovers always turn out to be an area in the Sims that is my forte we'll say it like that anyway so this house is your traditional like New England is that the word I'm looking for New England style house let's look that up and see if that is what I am saying. Yes. Okay. New England style house. I think this is what I want to say. Or like a Bay style house is would probably also be what this is. A Bay style or yeah. Yeah, Bay style. Bay style, New England style. They kind of, these photos are kind of looking the same to me. Anyway, this house is my first ever house I've built. Uh, on this channel and I think this is the first ever house I've really completed that I've like completed to the point where I actually would have one of my sims live in it and surprise surprise this house is going to be my leprosy house for my generation 10 of my sims 3 leprosy challenge which is crazy to me that I'm this far in. I've never built a house before. I've either always downloaded them off the internet or recently I've been having my viewers make them for me, which is phenomenal. I love to shout you guys out and link your build and show you guys like fantastic builders in the community. But I thought that for this houseboat, I would give it a whirl myself because as I said, I've never built before. So unsped up, this footage is, I think, think going on four hours and i did this over the span of two weeks so this started the moment i ended university i worked on it up until the night that i recorded the first episode of island paradise so i really was grinding completing this house and you may say maddie this is like something i do in like two days like i just build houses for fun well you have to remember i did this as i'm currently trying to end my semester of college i did this over over the course of spring break, going to and from my school, having to transfer files. I did this in the course of my boyfriend from Georgia and coming up and visiting and spending time with him. So like, it was a very busy time, tumultuous time of building this house, but it was four hours unsped up. And if I look in the Premiere Pro program right now, this footage got sped up 1500%, 1500%, a little over 15, almost 1600%. If I were to only two times this video, it would be two hour video but i decided to condense it into 15 minutes so if that if you're seeing the camera whip around like nauseatingly that is why it's because i had to speed it up so much and i didn't want this video to be over 15 minutes of me just building so that is that is that three hours of build footage which is a long time to work on building a house i feel like partially it's because i'd never build so like i don't know i don't know how to do these things but also on the other side of the spectrum i'm a perfectionist and like everything has to be perfect everything has to be up to my criteria and all that sort of stuff so i started off the shell i uh, was using a blueprint offline that I never ended up looking at. I more so went off of a mood board. I made a mood board in Photoshop, which I can put up right now. And I kind of grabbed some images of houseboats I like off the internet, which from now on is 100% the way I'm going to start building houses, either from a blueprint or using mood board, because this was like the main hurdle I always have when I begin building is I don't know what direction to take my build. I don't know, you know, if uh, I don't know where to build walls. I don't know the styling i don't know how i want to make it look so having a mood board was certainly a huge huge help for me in terms of building and kind of like taking you know my first step into building um territory it was it was very good to use a mood board so if you are not a builder like me highly recommend using a mood board or even blueprints i think are really helpful in this process so definitely my recommendation there from a non from a non-builder so anyway i did the shell off screen and then i kind of started 
filling in the plot holes uh plot holes well plot holes because i've been writing a script all day and my mind is like stuck in plot holes and <laughs> plot and all this stuff i meant holes holes in the house i started to fill in uh as i went on so the shell was built completely off camera um shell is just literally building walls so i mean you're not missing out on much there and most of this shell ended up changing by the end of the build the only thing that really stayed consistent was like the bottom floor and anyway so i knew that i need i need more like <laughs> i think i should have chosen a bigger houseboat to be honest that was my first problem i chose like the 15 by 17 i think plot of land it was and um it was okay like that size of build would be good for a smaller family but i just know the sim i'm playing with meadow she really likes occults so i think she's gonna she already has a plant sim baby and she already has an alien baby and i want her to have like one of her own genetic babies and then i want her to have like a mermaid significant other-in-law <laughs> for my plant son because he's the heir to the next generation so anyway long story short there's gonna be more babies and more sims moving into this household and i don't know what i'm gonna do because i spent three hours and i should have made this build a little bit bigger i suppose i could add another level on to this house and maybe take the master bedroom and kind of make that and split it up into two separate bedrooms and then we have an extra bedroom um because the end of this build this is only two bathroom two bedroom i misspoke here i don't know why i forgot a room but it's actually three bedroom two bathroom i misspoke whenever i recorded this voice over a couple weeks ago so i'm sorry i know like i'm gonna i'm gonna move into this house and within like five episodes i'm already gonna need a bigger house which is unfortunate um but what i'm thinking about doing is like taking this house picking it up throwing it on a bigger plot of land and then kind of expanding the walls a little bit but then I, ooh, someone just dropped something above me. That sounded catastro catastrophic, C catastrophic. That's what I meant to go for. I'm still living in my school dorm. So uh, there's thuds and clanks and clatters and bangs and zooms, zooms all around me at all times, which is kind of amazing. I kind of love that part of college. But anyway, what was I talking about? Uh, I was talking, I'm good at like making these voiceovers because my brain loves going on tangents. It just is a tangent, tangent, tangential, is that a word? Tangential sort of brain. Okay. So I'm really great at these sort of, sort of voiceover type beats. Also, I feel like this, so this houseboat I picked, this lot, I had no idea. Like, I don't know the sizes, like what's a good size for a big family. I mean, this, the family I'm playing with in this household is a mom and a dad and two young children. So as of now, it's pretty small, the family at least, but obviously they're gonna have more and more babies. So like, we gotta do something about that. And when the house, you know, when the family gets bigger, the house is also going to need to get bigger. And when I picked the lot, I picked a medium sized boat. I didn't know how small a lot would be, but 15 by 17 for all you wise people out there is not a big enough lot to house a very big boat. So word to the wise, if you're gonna make a houseboat, I would like look at all the options before <laughs> I, I literally picked the first option. I was like, oh yeah, medium size will be good. And I just went right into it. Oh, also I wanted to say this houseboat size, I despise it. I despise the size of this houseboat. It is a perfect rectangle, not a rectangle. It's a, yeah, it's a rectangle. It is a rectangle. I was gonna say square. It is a rectangle. Why, why is a boat, when I think boat, I don't think rectangle. I think of like a boat with like a, is it called a bar? on the front where it comes to like a, a curve at the, at the tip of it yeah that's what i think of when i see boat but this is not like that like this houseboat is a complete rectangle it's not you know it doesn't have that um point at the tip of it so yeah i'm not too fond of like the shape of the boat as it is there are a couple of things i would have redone if i had done this you know in fu for future for future reference so here i am we are decorating a little boy's room his name is river that custom wallpaper if you see it has like octopus on it it's very cute it's a custom pattern i think it's on my tumblr if you guys are interested in that oh also i was gonna put an ice cream machine in here you can probably see it in the kitchen and i had a really hard time decorating this tiny little space there's like a coffee area i was gonna put an ice cream machine but there's a bug there's a bug with these ice cream machine and the deep fryer where if you have them in the house the sims will like autonomously use them all the time they don't even have to be hungry we'll like go right up to the deep fryer and it is one of the most annoying things ever so i did not put it in this house thank god oh i was trying to make an island in the kitchen too i forget all these things i haven't come back to this house in a while but i really like these countertops from the sims 3 pets and i thought they would make a really cute island but it did not end up working out the space is too tight once again should have picked a little bit bigger of a boat but you know what it's cozy it's nice and the countertops are from pets like i said and the uh, cabinet 
gets are from base game, which I love using base game. Like anytime I can use base game and make my builds more accessible, I will if I ever do end up making another build again. Um, not claiming I'm a builder, but I did have a lot of fun. It just took a lot out of me to make this house and I'm not even satisfied then with how it looks. I know it sounds like I'm fishing for compliments a lot. I'm not, I'm really not trying to. I'm just, I hate building. And so sorry, I really do. Oh, that neon lamp in the back patio, that is so cute. I think it's a piece of CC, but it reminds me of Brandy Broke's neon lamp that she has in her house from Sims 2. That's why I had to add it. And here I am, I finally added this buffer room between the kitchen and the walkout back patio. Um, I was gonna leave it like wide open and kind of have like an open floor plan, but I decided to add that little buffer like we call it a mud room in america it's basically like a buffer between like the garage and the inside of your house is what a mud room is i guess we can kind of call it a mud room in this house in this house but as well but i decided to add that extra room i feel like it might make the place look a little bit smaller but it felt too open if i were not to put that wall between the back patio there and the kitchen so that is that we are going back into the kids room as you can see i am very scatterbrained much like when i talk and my voiceovers i am very scatterbrained when i build houses i jump from thing to thing from room to room river's room is definitely probably my favorite room in the entire house followed by the upstairs nursery i just like like the nautical sort of theming underwater theming of it here i am doing the upstairs nursery i have these really nice wood patterns from tumblr i think i got them from I think I reblogged them if you'd like to see those. Any any pattern I talk about is on my Tumblr. I haven't started downloading patterns until I got started on Tumblr, so all of them should be out there. I got a really nice set of Sims 4 wood patterns and say what you want about Sims 4. The build in Sims 4 is amazing like it is phenomenal and the patterns for woods at least they're really pretty and like the texture on them is really nice so it was a conversion i'm pretty sure of like sims 4 woods to sims 3 i added a little duck lamp in the downstairs kids bedroom because i don't know it just felt it just felt necessary and i added a bunch of planter boxes on the outside of the house kind of make it look lived in we have a plant sim living here and we have a alien living here and the mother is like a level 10 gardener so i assume Assume she would have lots of like ivy growing her mom her mom's name is literally ivy but she'd have ivy growing up the house and i don't know it's really cute but yeah the kids room the nursery was the final bedroom i think i had to fill in and then the rest of it was like filling in um sitting areas and all that kind of stuff so i mean i'm putting in the finishing touches here i was really struggling on trying to find what to fill the wall you're gonna see here in a second the wall i could not find what i wanted to put on this wall i settled for a picture though it's nice uh, I really like this sitting room. I made this room like a bright yellow. This is my final room and I was like super happy just to be done with this houseboat. Um, but I just, I love how this sitting area turns out. It was f like, this is probably my little, my favorite little area, sitting area. And the entire house is that, out uh, that, that upstairs sitting area. So yeah, I'm going back downstairs, just putting in some accessories, some nice little things to make the house look a little bit more lived in. I added a uh, laundry room right here because they needed somewhere to wash their clothes and then I added a clothesline out back because there's no space for a dryer and I think living on a houseboat I don't think you'd be even having your stuff like in a dryer that just seems stupid just put it outside where it's like super hot I added some soaps up there to make it look a little bit more lived in and yeah then I added this upstairs garden which was really fast I was struggling so hard you're gonna see it here in a second I was struggling super hard with adding a ladder on that roof oh my god like getting that to work you have to have a free tile to the left or right of a ladder and that was like the biggest pain in the ass i think i might have cut it out um or i didn't record it because i was getting so fucking frustrated i just did not i didn't want it in my video i think it's because ladders function differently than they do for the sims 3 than they do the sims 4 i forget if i oh okay yeah here we go i, I loaded back in so yeah here i'm working on the roof here you're gonna see me watch this struggle watch this watch me how this is sped up 1500 times you gotta remember that i spent a solid 30 minutes of real time trying to get this ladder to work i didn't understand how how isla paradiso or no island paradise sorry not isla paradiso i didn't understand how those ladders worked i got so frustrated as you saw i uh quit out of it but 
oh my god it was such a pain in the ass so if you notice this ladder there has to be a open slot to the left or right so that is why there's a giant missing craterous hole if you download this house you can choose to move the ladder or change it to a staircase or do whatever you want but i left it as a hole i, I know right now it looks like uh like it's normal like a normal way to use a ladder but that's not how for some reason sims three sims use ladders differently there has to be an open tile to the left or right of the top of the ladder so it's quite annoying i'm not sure if i do i change it in this video you might see it you might not i think i play tested it and like it got fucked up but anyway that is me building my first ever house i was very satisfied with how it turned out i have a link below if you guys would like to download this house on tumblr here's just a couple of final images um next time i'll definitely record the shell honestly i forgot to hit the record when i was building the shell i think the shell is one of the most fun parts to watch but um yeah if you guys would like it it is linked below this is the house i am going to be using in my sims 3 island paradise let's play i hope you all enjoyed my first ever speed build it was super laborious and super taxing but the payoff was really great and i can't wait to use this house so i will see you guys all in my sims 3 island paradise let's play peace out guys